Okay, hi everyone. Let's do a test on Dollar Store Crafters Square Vinyl versus regular Cricut Vinyl and Smart Vinyl. That I was at the Dollar Store. Found this Crafters Square. There's a whole bunch of vinyls in different colors. So I went and bought a whole bunch and just tested it out and I just wanted to let you know that it does not work well at all on the Cricut machine for fine details. I yesterday I used it just to cut out you know a basic bookmark shape and that's fine but today I was trying to do a little bit more intricate pattern uh, this one was supposed to be a bear with leaves in it. That's the closest one. Well, actually, this one, which you probably can't see, this bear looks like it may have worked. Don't know why this part might have worked better than these other ones. But this one didn't work at all. There were slightly different bear patterns that I was doing. This one was supposed to have trees on top. The bear part looks like it partially worked but so just if you're like me and you went and you're all excited don't go crazy with buying a ton unless you're just going to do real basic cuts because it does not look like it is good and this particular one was removable i think when i was cutting this stuff yesterday i think this one might be permanent so there might be a difference between permanent and removable i will continue with my tests and uh, let you know. Okay, wow, there's a big difference here. Now I switch to using, I just switched to Smart Vinyl. And the Smart Vinyl already feels like a lot thicker. But if you look here, I can see already that this cut, there's no bumps or anything sorry that this is so hard to see there there okay there we go so this one here was the one that didn't work at all not even close on the dollar store crafter square stuff and this one is a new one that I just did now um, this one here was also the one that did not work at all well the bear part worked but the trees didn't and then this in, this one here also did not work well. So now it goes to show you that spending your money on the Cricut vinyl is definitely worth it. Um, I was just hoping that I could use the cheaper, uh, this cheaper, this one that didn't work. It's all wrecked in, in places. And this one, the trees didn't work at all. I was hoping I could use this cheaper vinyl because I'm trying to run a bunch of tests. I'm going to try a whole bunch of different cuts because I'm trying to make some different stencils to see what will work well um, for when we do our rattle craft. And if you look at my other videos, you'll see the stencil that I did for this one. And this was using actual stencil material. Uh, but while I'm testing, I don't want to spend a bunch of money on the stencil material until I'm ready to actually make the ones that I want to make. So right now I'm just using regular vinyl to see which one's cut out best, but obviously the dollar store stuff is not going to cut it. So I'm still going to have to use my more expensive um, Cricut vinyl. So in that case, I might as well just go back to the stencil stuff. But Okay, now that I've weeded out the sections that I want, you can see that the cuts were very, very clean using the Cricut vinyl. And the pieces that I removed, I just put on here. And you can see the difference. This is the Cricut vinyl, it worked perfect. And this was the one dollar store stuff. And this is the Cricut vinyl, it worked very well, but this was the one from the dollar store. Okay, so I thought I better try something else before Again, I'm using the Crafters Square vinyl. This time it's permanent, white. Um, 
And I am, you can't really see right now, but this is what it looks like coming out. So the pieces are already coming off, but it doesn't look too bad. I think that I'm not going to put the transfer tape on here right now because I just am doing this to test it out. I'm just going to try doing this. Okay. Obviously, small little cuts are going to work. Nice, clean ones. Um, spider web, I'm going to have to do a lot more um, to it. Gotta get my glasses here to see if I mean, maybe I should put the transfer tape on. But most of these cut out pieces are like literally just falling apart already. So, are falling falling off already. So I probably can do this no problem. It's just gonna take a while. So, so that's one nice thing about it is that it looks like it's quite easy to get these pieces off as opposed to the heavier vinyl. So yeah, I guess it's not that bad. It wasn't good. It didn't work on, you know, like a couple of those other stencils that I showed you at the beginning that I was making. These aren't stencils. This time I'm using it for a card. I'm making a birthday card, Spider-Man birthday card. But yeah, I think this is going to work. So, so I guess um, buying the cheap stuff can work for some things. Just the bigger cuts that you have, the better. I should point out to keep in mind, though, that this Crafters Square vinyl, the paper on the back is, like, not shiny at all. So it really gets stuck to the bottom of this mat and I'm using a light grip mat and uh, so it's really difficult to pull this off which is why I didn't do it in the beginning <laughs> I just wanted to show you but you have to get your scraper in here and you know you get lots of paper stuck on here I do find it works better if you just go ahead and do it all like this but if you try to pull this like off like you normally would like even if you were gonna roll this and pull it, it, it's going to get stuck in places and just not, it's, it doesn't pull off well, not like, like our other Cricut vinyl does. So I find it's easier just to, with this cheap stuff, just to do this right from the beginning to get it off, get all the, but I've used this took before and there's like so many pieces on here and it takes a while to scrape it off so that's another consideration when you're thinking about buying the cheap stuff I thought it would work better personally I do like that it's not as sticky because these things come off easy so I guess there's pros and cons to everything Okay, so it actually weeds quite nicely. Uh, it comes off easier than the other types, but it also did cut through, so that means it's probably cut into my mat now. So you have to keep in mind about that as well, so maybe try using it with less pressure. But, let's see, yeah, it's going to pull off nicely, so this should work. This should work. So it's not completely useless. It just You just have to make some adjustments when you're using it. And be careful of what you use it on, I guess. Okay, so I'm a little bit torn, actually, with this stuff. Because it has some good and bads to it. So again, this time I'm using the black one. 
And when it prints out, the problem is, is that all these little pieces don't stay stuck on here. So they go flying places. So I noticed some were stuck to my wheels. Some of them get stuck, you know, to other spots on here and then it's hard to see them. But what I really did like about this one is this one just pretty much pulled off for me. Like it came off of this one. So you can see though, again, the same problem with it cutting through. So I should have said le less pressure, but did I remember? I didn't. So you have that issue, but I, I just, it started to come up on one side. So I just pulled this all out. I did have a ton of little teeny pieces that had popped off that were like stuck in behind here and stuff. So it took me a while to take those little pieces off, but you know, it's, and it's very thin, but I, what I'm using it for, it's going to be fine. And, um, let me see, can we see, you can't really see the difference on here. Um, you can feel that it's thin though. So yeah, so I'm hoping that with this one, I can just do the same thing. And, uh, for the most part, just pull it right off. Yeah, see, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, I do have, I still have, you know, some pieces, a lot of these little ones over here. And they've kind of popped out of place and then they, they fall behind here and get stuck. So you have to pull those off. But overall, I mean, it's actually not that bad, especially considering this is dollar store stuff. So I'm actually torn on, on this, you know, obviously it'd be better if I just wait until I get some of the Cricut stuff when it's on sale. But in the meantime, I can, I can use this because you know, one thing about crafts is we all love to do it, but it's amazing it becomes very costly and you could have just bought whatever the thing was that you were trying to make for cheaper than it costs to buy the machine and all the supplies. Okay, so just to be thorough, I'm now printing back on Cricut vinyl. And this one has very intricate designs. There's no issues though at all with like there's nothing here that's sticking out. All the pieces are still there. There's no like on the cheap stuff where it was all coming out into my machine. It's all still stuck down there. So, and you know, you can't tell from here, but just feeling this, it, you can tell it's so much thicker. And I can also show you that you don't need to use a spatula or anything to pull it off of the board. And this is actually on just the standard grip mat, whereas the other one I had to use the light grip mat and it was still stuck. No issues. So yeah, I definitely prefer the Cricut stuff. I'm happy with this stuff. The Cricut stuff is so much better. And just in case somebody noticed that the previous sample I did was Smart Vinyl, which is thicker anyways, here's another one that is just the regular Cricut Premium Vinyl. It is quite a bit thinner than the Smart Vinyl, but I still, still works great. Everything here, there's nothing messed up about it coming off the printer, no missing pieces like the dollar store stuff. So everything here, and it's all very in intricate stuff here, and it all looks great. So just to compare the difference, there is quite a difference between dollar store stuff and the Cricut stuff.